What's up, witches? It's Luna here again with another short vlog um, because I want to honor and acknowledge the passing of the venerable Thich Nhat Hanh, um, the great Zen master, uh, peace activist, teacher, author. Um, he is an incredible human being and remains so, and he passed at midnight on the 22nd in his root temple um, in Hue, Vietnam, and after having a, had a severe stroke like seven years ago. Um, I've been watching the ceremonies this week, and if you can, go to Plum Village on YouTube and watch the, um, the ceremony that was uh, Saturday of placing his body in the casket just so moving and beautiful and looking at, you know, some people have the idea that Buddhism um, just doesn't acknowledge death and doesn't believe in it. He died, you know, it's n don't cry. No, cry if you're crying. Cry if you need to cry. You know, it's just don't get attached to things. Um, but watching how they honored their beloved teacher's body and, you know, this um, group of monks that were his disciples uh, carried his body on a platform, you know, up above their heads from his hut where he passed into this full moon uh, meditation hall and watched them, um, they do the, the prostrations touching the earth as uh, Shakyamuni Buddha did when he became enlightened. He touched the earth and called the earth to witness his enlightenment. And so they do three prostrations, um, and you're bowing to to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, which are called the three jewels, the, the, the Buddhas, the enlightened beings that have gotten there before me, the Dharma, which is the teachings that they've left to instruct us, and the Sangha is the community of practitioners. And they had his body on this platform, and, and they, they brought it down to the floor and back up three times, the final prostrations of his earthly body. And then they placed him um, in this gorgeous golden casket, very tall casket, and wrapped him in silks and, and papers. And then they filled this coffin like, like you know, with powdered sandalwood and um, sandalwood like shavings. And I mean, they just packed in and filled this casket with sandalwood. Um, and I'm sure part of that is for, you know, he will be cremated uh, next, I think it's Friday, maybe Friday, maybe Saturday, but to um, dampen down any, any smell from his body decomposing, number one. Uh, number two, can you imagine when he is cremated, the, the heavenly scent of that incense, billowing clouds of Buddhism's most sacred incense just traveling to the heavens. Um, I have several of his books on my shelf. I've got a Wisdom of Thich Nhat Hanh, which is a, um, an anthology and one called Pieces Every Step. I have his one on anger and his book on fear. And there's one that is on its way to me, which is the second time I've purchased it called No Death, No Fear. And I, my, I gave away my copy when a friend's husband passed away. So, um, I ordered it again and, it's on its way, but if you have never experienced his teachings, it is the most exquisite simplicity you can imagine. He had the ability to relay these deep, um, huge concepts of mindfulness and, and emptiness in such a simple, simple way. And that is his legacy and everything the the plum village uh plum village is the the monasteries that he uh founded his tradition and um i have taught dances of universal peace that come from plum village and just so very simple but it's all about breath and i'm sure there are many meditations of him le leading meditation on youtube and he has the most comforting voice and every meditation is breathing in, you know, and then breathing out. And the ceremonies that they've done this week, they are 
his disciples are, you know, have taken him into themselves. It would be, you know, breathing in. I'm aware that Tai is breathing. They call him Tai, which is a teacher. I'm aware that Tai is breathing with me and breathing out. Tai breathes, you know, and and then, you know, just just being aware of him inside of them. And it's just exquisite. And no death, no fear. I can't wait to get it again because um, the way he talks about death is just, it's, it's mind-blowingly huge, but so very simple. So his teachings have the ability to trigger your Buddha mind in the most um, powerful and down-to-earth and simple, elegantly simple way. So please, if you have never encountered any of his teachings, I invite you please to do a little bit of research. Look him up on, um, on YouTube. I will put in the description uh, links to Plum Village and how you spell his name so you can search. But um, I just wanted to take a moment uh, to formally honor Yes, the world will miss him, but we have his teachings and we have his disciples. And today I watched an ordination ceremony for novices at Plum Village in France, which is the biggest of his, um, his monasteries. And there were four men and a woman who um, took the vows. And, you know, anytime I've had a fantasy about, you know, if I get old, I'll go be a nun, you know, a Buddhist nun or something like that. And no, I don't have that kind of strength. These people, you know, vowed to, you know, do, learn the teachings and be diligent and all that stuff. But, you know, the vow of chastity, the vow of never eating meat for the rest of their lives. No jewelry, no adornment, no exposure to toxins like drugs and alcohol or toxic literature or TV or games or anything that's going to inflame, you know, those, um, the attachment and aversion uh, that come with this human life. So this this life dedicated to simple devotion and practice. And, you know, it's bodhisattva practice. They are practicing for our sake. So I want to give gratitude to them too, to all of those who have that inner strength to um, renounce the world and practice nonstop on the world's behalf. It's incredible and, and very, very moving. So, um, Ty, thank you. Thank you, and I know you're still with us. And, uh, and now let's put uh, the Dalai Lama and Pema Chodron in some bubble wrap, please. Fortunately, the Dalai Lama is in very uh, robust, good health, and may he remain so for many years to come. Selfishly, may he remain so for many years to come. All right. Thanks so much for listening, you guys. I'll see you soon. This is the Zen Witch. Blessed be.